everybody. So we're back. Uh, we're going to make a net list. And um, I have the same schematic I drew earlier in the schematic video. We're going to have to come up here and click on this tab right here and do this drop down and this drop down as well. From this uh, view right here, you can change your schematic, the page name. You can add additional pages in here and do off page connectors to connect things electrically. Um, any libraries that you add will be in here as well. So, um, but what we're going to do is just go ahead and do a um, design rules check first. And these settings are all fine the way they are. You can go ahead and click um, OK. It's gonna, it should be saving it in your project directory under uh, the name of your project and .drc. So go ahead and hit OK. If there are any issues, you should correct them now. You can bring this, make this a little bit bigger. But the design rule check didn't find any issues. If it had found issues, it would have given you errors here. They're not always, uh, uh, they're not always very forthcoming with what they mean. But um, you can come back here, and they'll normally be a little green circle at a connection point. And normally, what it means is that this connection here and this connection here shouldn't be connected just due to their setup. Um, and uh, you can go into the part and maybe edit the part if it's supposed to be connected there and tell it that this pin type is a slightly different type than what you set. So um, as long as the DRC passes, you should be all right. And you can go ahead and come back here to tools. You need to be, you need to be in this tab though. If you're not in this tab, uh, it won't work. Uh, this uh, entire menu is blanked out. But you're gonna hit create netlist. And the first thing is you're going to want to change where this location is. So you're going to go find your, uh, your folders again. So again, get to your desktop or wherever it is that you have it saved at. Oops. Desktop. And make sure you select the current folder you're in, which should be, uh, for me, it's Power Supply 5. And then you're going to hit Create or Update PCB Editor Board. And then again, you're going to change the location of where this is. So, uh, whoops, desktop and cadence projects and power supply five. And we're going to call this power supply. And that'll be the name of our board file. Hit open. And since this is the first board I'm making, I don't need any input board. I'm just going to export this board. Uh, if I were to come back here to the schematic, make a change here, and I've already created a board, but I needed to add a resistor that I forgot or a capacitor or something, what you could do is output a board, call it version 2, and then import the original board if you want. So actually, let's edit this one to version 1, uppercase that V. And, um, like I said, if you were going to make a, an update in the schematic and re-export the netlist, you'll uh, input the original board if you wanted to keep that same board layout, and then it would carry over with the, next, the extra parts. So uh, after that's been set, uh, check this allow user defined property box, and then everything else is fine as it is, and go ahead and hit OK. If there are any errors or anything, you'll get them right now. It normally come up with an X here, or uh, sometimes you'll get warnings. Um, that won't prevent it from uh, creating the board, but it'll uh, have the warnings anyways. I got no no warnings or anything though, so um, it's going to open this. You're going to select the first uh, license for PCB editor, and you're going to hit OK. Once it opens PCB editor, you'll pre be presented with a blank screen, and uh, you can go ahead and start placing your parts and laying out your board file. So we'll do that in the next video.